Hi friends, this lesson is for Module 1, Lesson 2. Our learning goal for today says, I can use a number bond to model the parts of a number. Hey, we talked about the number bond in our last lesson. Can you picture it in your good brain? What does it look like? Do you remember? Yeah, a number bond has three circles, and they're all, it kind of looks like they're hanging on hands, because they're all bonded or connected. <clears throat> Alright, so it says, I can use a number bond to model the parts of the number, or show, like, what different parts are in a number. Remember in the last lesson, we were number detectives, and we were looking for hidden numbers. We're going to do the same thing today, except for we're going to change it up just a little bit. I went to my cabinet and got a whole bunch of apples. Mmm, don't they look delicious? Now, I want to look for a hidden number inside that big group. Let's see. You know, yesterday they were super organized. They were like in a 10 frame. So I could easily do a group of five. But today I don't really see a group of five that's like in a nice neat row. So I'm going to go with these as my first part. Let's count and see how many I circled. One, two, three, four. So my first part is going to be four. What's my other part? How many apples did I not circle? Can you count for me? Yeah, good job. One, two, three. So I have four as one part and three as the other part. Now, our learning goal said that we're going to use the parts and put them into a number bond. But I just want to show you how I can take those parts to find the whole amount or the total. Let's see, I had four inside my circle, so that four is one part. I had three outside my circle, so that was another part. And now to find the total, I'm going to add those together. I always like to say the bigger number first, so I'll say four and then count up three. Four, five, six, seven. So the total amount is seven. Okay, now I remember from yesterday, a number bond has three different pieces to it. It has the whole amount and the two parts. I see in my number sentence at the bottom, 4 plus 3 equals 7, that I already have my three pieces. I just need to remember where to put them. Okay, so there is my number bond, and I gave you a hint already. The total is going to go on the top. So, I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, let's try to fill in one of the parts. So, let's see, let's look at the first part, the ones that I circled. That would be, what number, friend? Yeah, 4. So, 4 is a part. What would the other part be? Yep, three is a part. Oh, you're so good at number bonds. And then what would the total amount be? Yeah, seven. Because if I take one part and I add it to another part, I'm going to get the whole amount, right? Yeah. Wow, we're rocking and rolling on our learning goal, and we just started. We are using our number bond to show the different parts of a number. Awesome. Let's keep cruising. All right, so same apples. Now, this is exciting because I'm going to group them a different way. Last time, I circled four to make a part. This time, I'm going to circle something else. Boom. How many are in that part that I circled? Yeah, two. One, two. So two is going to be one of my parts. Can you tell me what my other part is going to be? Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, five. How did you figure that out, friend? Yeah, I hope that you counted all of the apples that were not inside of the circle. One, two, three, four, five. Perfecto. Okay, so I know my parts, and I'm going to try to do them in my number bond now. Let's see. <coughs> well, I circled the one part, so let's go ahead and put that um, two in the place where I would put one of the parts. Can you go ahead and get your finger and point to where that would be on the screen? Did you point right there? Oh, good job. Oh, just one second. Sorry, friends, there was a little announcement. Okay, so we put our first part in there. We put two. Now what? Am I done filling in my number bond? No, I see two empty spots. What am I going to do now? What goes in the, in the circle right next to the two that shows the other part? Yep, it's going to be the rest of the apples. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Five is going to go into that other part. Now, the big circle at the top is going to be the whole amount. If I have five and I count up two, I would say five, six, seven. So seven is my whole amount. Perfecto. 
We are doing such a good job at this learning goal, friend. All right, now I want you to do this one with me. So can you go ahead and press pause while you get a dry erase board and marker? If you already have it, then you're good to go. Press play when you're ready. Okay, do you have your materials? Perfect. Now do you see that empty number bond? Can you go ahead and just draw an empty number bond just like I did? Don't worry about doing those cute apples. I have that covered for you on the screen. Okay, is your number bond ready? Okay, perfect. Don't worry, we just started drawing number bonds. They're gonna get easier as the year continues because we're gonna be drawing them a million times. So you'll get really good at them. So don't worry if they're a little wobbly um, in the very beginning. Okay, <coughs> I'm gonna circle another part and I want you to go ahead and start filling in your number bond. All right, here we go. Mm, boom. Okay, can you fill in your number bond to match how many I just circled? Be careful, make sure you're putting it in one of the parts because that one that I circled is certainly not a whole amount, right? No, I have tons of apples there. Okay, did you do that? Oh, you did, excellent. Friend, don't worry if you're making little mistakes. Just go ahead and fix it. This is our time to practice together. Okay, I want you to try to fill in the rest of the number bond by yourself. Can you fill in the other part and then the whole amount? Press pause while you do that good work, and then press play to check yourself. Okay, friend, are you ready for this? Oh, I hope you counted carefully. All right, let's see. I see that there was one was the part that I circled. We did that one together. Then there are one, two, three, four, five, six. Six more apples to make up the other part. Is that what you got? Ha <laughs> ha. Let's do a super clap. One, two, three. Rock star. All right, perfect. Now, if I'm going to put those two parts together, I'm going to add them together to get my whole amount. What number did you put at the top of your number bond? You did a seven. I did a seven. We're twins. A good job, us. All right, perfect. How did I get that answer seven? What did I do there? Yeah, I just took the one part and I added it to the six part. If I wasn't sure, I could just say six and then add up one. Six seven. There we go. Got the whole amount. All right. Our learning goal for today says, I can use a number bond to model the parts of a number. That sounds pretty official, and we have been doing an amazing job with it. It's not as tricky as it sounds, huh? Okay. It's your turn. This is what I would like you to do, friends. I want you to go ahead and draw the empty number bond. Now, I'm going to circle a group of apples as part of the number. I want you to fill in the number bond and then seesaw your answer to your teacher. Okay, you ready? All right, so I circled that as my first part. Fill that into one of the parts, fill the rest of the apples in the other part, and then do your whole amount. When you're all done, seesaw it to your teacher. Good luck, friends.